determination of blood groups okay we have to determine the blood group of the given patient sample so what are the different type of apparatus we need okay first thing is spirit and second one is cotton a lancet or needle okay to puncture the finger okay a glass slide or tile 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 you know we will use the tile inside the kitchen and in the bathrooms okay that is the tile okay white tile white okay it should not contain any design or any black spots or anything it should be cleared and white okay you should take a glass slide or a tile anything is okay okay then the major thing is anti sera kit this is anti sera kit anti sera kit it will contain three types of anti sera the first one will contain antibody a okay it will contain antibodies a and this is antibody b this contains antibodies b and this will contain antibody d that means rh the i will i will tell you okay during the time of procedure i will tell you okay so we are having three types of reagents in this kit so first thing what we have to do first thing is procedure when you go for the procedure first thing is sterilize the which finger ring, ring finger. finger sterilize the ring finger we have to sterilize it then make a puncture with the help of the needle make a puncture then collect blood three drops three drops of blood we have to collect separately okay if you are doing on a single slide if you are doing on a sling if you are doing on a single slide collect one drop here second drop here third drop here if you want to do on separate separate slides then take three slides okay then collect the drops separately one for anti a one for anti b one for anti d so collect three drops of blood based on your procedure whether if you are if you want to do on the three slides then collect three drops differently if you want to do on a single slide then collect one drop here one at the center and another at the corner okay collect three drops then what you have to do then add anti sera a to a drop a to one drop anti sera b to another drop anti sera d to another drop separate separately then what you have to do mix it you have to mix it then observe for clumps okay some particle like things will be appeared the rbc will get well get attached and it will form the clumps so observe for the clumps okay then the report will be like this a b d English. See, if A is having clumps, then that blood group is A. Mm. If B is having the clumps, that blood group is B. If A and B both are having the clumps, then the blood group is AB. If both are not having the clumps, then that is O. Okay. If A is having the clumps. and along with that see here if a is having the clumps and d is also having the clumps that is a positive if b is having the clumps and b d is also having the clumps that is b positive ab is having the clumps and d is also having the clumps ab positive 
O is not having the A is not having the clumps, B is not having the clumps, but D is having the clumps. That is O positive. A is having the clumps, B is not having, D is not having. A negative. A is not there, B is there, D is not there. B negative. A is present, B is present, but D is not there. A B negative. O A is not there, B is not there, D is not there. O negative. So if agglutination, that clumps, if agglutination is present only in the A, then that is A blood group. If agglutination is present only in the B, that is B blood group. If agglutination is present in both A and B, then that is A B blood group. If agglutination is not present in A, not present in B, then that is O blood group. Then what about this D? If agglutination is present in the D, then you have to say it is positive. If agglutination is not present in the D, then that is negative. negative. So here see, A, A agglutination is there, D agglutination is there. That's why A positive. A agglutination is there, D agglutination is not there. A negative. This is A positive. This is A negative. B agglutination is there. D agglutination is there. So B positive. B agglutination is there and B D agglutination is not there. So B negative. The D will indicate only positive and negative. The D will indicate only positive and negative. That is nothing but this is a special antigen that is RH antigen. Okay. If agglutination comes in the A, that means RBC is containing A antigen. If agglutination is containing in the B, then RBC is containing B antigen. If agglutination is present in both A and B, then RBC is containing both A and B antigens. If agglutination is not present in both, then it is indicating RBC is not containing neither A, neither B. Okay. This diagram will give you the complete picture about the blood groups. So let's perform the practical. Take one fresh glass slide. Okay. This is the fresh glass slide. Always your kit should be in this order. This is A, this is B and this is D. Okay. This sticker will also have some label. Okay. Here it is written A. Can you see? Okay. Here it is written A and here it is written B and here it is written D. Okay. So first we will collect uh, blood from the patient. Three drops. Then we will add antiseria A to one drop, B to one drop and D to one drop. Then we will mix it. Then we will check for the agglutination. Then you have to give me the report. Who is the donor now? Who is the volunteer now? Who want to check the blood group? Sit down. First you have to take the spirit cotton. Take the spirit cotton. And take the ring finger of the patient. Okay. And sterilize it. Take a spirit cotton and take the ring finger of the patient and sterilize it. Never blow air with your mouth. Okay. Let it air dry. Let it air dry. Okay. Now, if you have a lancet, take a lancet. If you don't have a lancet, then open a fresh syringe. Take a fresh needle. Make a puncture. Okay, so now you can see the blood drop. We have to collect uh, three blood drops. Okay, turn your hand. One on the Okay, three blood drops we have taken. Now we have to put antisera A in the first drop. Like this, always you have to keep this pillar away from the blood drop. Okay, never touch this pillar to the blood directly. Okay, and then it will get contaminated and whole reagent will be wasted. You have to maintain this much distance.
okay then immediately if you have a mixing stick then it's okay otherwise with the help of this needle only we can mix it okay mix it properly in a circular motion okay you can see this is the clump leave it yes now see after mixing like this you have to move the slide continuously okay like this you have to rotate the slide then observe for this clumps now you can see the clumps clearly right here there are the clumps here are the clumps and here are the clumps okay here i have added a here i have added b here i have added d now agglutination is present in the a so that means a antigen is present agglutination agglutination is present also in the b that means b antigen is also present and d if agglutination comes in the d then we have to write it as positive so the patient blood group is ab positive is it clear okay so here say, say check the diagram see if three if three circles are having the agglutination then that is ab positive see here what we have written agglutination is here agglutination is here. agglutination so what we have written ab positive. AB positive so here is our result in this way you have to perform the blood group and you have to decide the result so practice this diagram perfectly then you will get an idea clearly about this blood groups